these are the most complex cupboard doors and hinges to adjust unless we're a little bit clever about it. Let me show you what I mean. I've tried several times in the past to adjust these corner cabinet hinges or lazy Susan cabinet doors and I've been left totally confused and the cabinet doors left totally out of alignment. But eventually I figured out a way of getting them just right and I want to share that with you. So let's get into it. First off, let's rule out some of the basic stuff. Check that you don't have a bent or broken hinge, any loose mounting screws, or that it's just something is blocking it from shutting. Hey, really quickly, if your screws look like this, almost like a little star, then they're a posi screw and we need to use a posi driver bit. A Phillips screwdriver will work, but from experience, I've found these hinges have quite soft metal screws really. So each time adjusting with the wrong screwdriver, it just damages the screws more and more and they tend to strip and then we're stuffed. Let's be systematical about it. First off, we're gonna start where these two doors meet and look at these hinges here. So normally, they're sitting at a 90 degree angle. We have to open them a little bit more to open the cupboard and then for access to the cupboard, we actually end up getting them quite flat against the other cabinets. So they're called a bifold because they swing both ways. Our goal is to get these two doors to nearly meet at the corner there, but not touch. That would cause them to rub each time they're opened and that will damage the surface and cause the cabinet doors to bind. These are the three screws here that do the adjustments. This one is a 45 degree movement only. These two only control this door. This is a forward and back movement. This one is a lateral movement. It's a little bit of fiddling around to get them just right. Do the same top and bottom, and if it really gets confusing, just set these adjustments all to their middle setting and then move one at a time until you figure out the action of each screw takes. It seems overwhelming and complex, but take your time. The cupboard doors are quite happy just hanging there while we nut this out. Now that we have these two doors set properly on those bifold hinges and these adjusted just right so that we've got an only slight gap, top and bottom, we'll close the cabinet and see what's happening overall. Looks like we've got a nice even gap down here and the cupboard door's not proud top or bottom. Over this side though, it looks like the top of door number two is actually sagging. And we've got a very narrow gap here and it opens up quite wide down the bottom. One trick that I've found, and I'll share this with you, all these corner cabinets, they seem to sag over time and I don't know if it's just the hinges wearing out or getting play in them but what I've found works is if you adjust the bottom hinge here where the first door meets the cabinet and if you adjust that out a little bit what that does is it actually rotates the second door and seems to correct that sagging appearance that it has. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so that's taken two adjustments. Now you can see that the corner cupboards actually line up with the cabinet next to it. There's no, none of that sort of sagging appearance. That looks really good. One thing I'd do though, if you do bring out this, um, adjust this hinge here to bring out the bottom of the cabinet, I'd actually match it up with the cabinet next to it. It's not gonna affect how the, cupboard door functions but it is going to line them up and it'll look really nice and intentional just those little touches makes it look good after you've adjusted this hinge if you feel that the gap here is too small you can do the opposite up here a couple of turns anti-clockwise on this top hinge and it'll draw the cupboard door in towards the cabinet opening up the gap if during this task you found that your hinges are too worn out to do those adjustments 
Click just here, I've got a video showing how to replace them. I'll see you there.